I was just now complaining about 300 people leaving the channel, but look at this right here. I wanted to check. I, I wanted to share this with y'all. I want to say thank you to everybody who believe in the channel. Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back. I am Van, and we are all the LFR family. Much love to you all. Thank you so much for clicking play. Hopefully, you click that like button as well. Share this bad boy, and um, just continue to do what y'all do. Y'all are absolutely amazing, man. I feel like a. I feel a little bit like an a hole. I feel like a jerk a little bit. Just a little bit, un poquito. When I say we are all the LFR family, um, and I've been saying this for a long time, I really appreciate how y'all treat a brother, all right? I know I got on this video, I got on here crying. <laughs> I wasn't crying, but I got on here seemingly complaining about all of the people who left the channel when I announced that I was no longer doing politics on the channel. What I meant by that was... I would no longer be reacting to a lot of these poli um, these political videos by Tucker Carlson and you name it. You know all of the people that do the do the um, reactions and the videos and whatnot. And when I said that, we were looking at it live as I was losing ho a whole gang of support. But I want to show y'all something that I looked at today. Before I show y'all the numbers, I want to show y'all the numbers of the people who subbed, who subscribed to the channel. Uh, what's going on, Big Lou? I'm going to pull you up in one second, big fella. Um, now, as a matter of fact, let me pull you up now, man, because I got Lou here with me. I got to tell this young brother this, man. What's going on, bro? You can hear me? Yeah, I can hear you well, man. Um, I don't know if you saw the announcement I made, and um, it was, it was uh, some people thought I was being crazy for announcing it, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> I did because, and you were a big reason for it. You were a big reason for it, man, because, um, and it wasn't out of fear. Um, it was just out of me trying to do what I felt necessary for me and my brand. So um, when I did the video, a lot of people actually watched it, but I was losing supporters like crazy, real, real, real fast. And um, after like three minutes, three hours of it being up, we lost like 300 subscribers. Um, but then I mentioned that on the next video and watch this right here, man. I'm going to show you this because this is how our supporters do whenever they see us and they believe that we might be in a little bit of agony or we might be hurting in some type of way. Sometimes they pull up, man, and they come through and that video that I did yesterday almost doubled in views the very first video that caused me to lose a whole bunch of subscribers. And then check this out. I'm about to show you this, man. This is crazy. I just now looked at it. <laughs> and I promise y'all I ain't going to start crying because I ain't no punk. <laughs> How you doing, Big Lou? Doing good, man. Everything's good, man. I've been keeping up with, with you and uh, what's been going on. I noticed that uh, when you when you made the first video, then you made the second one. Uh, I was like, yo, I need, I need to tune in. I need to uh, see what's going on. I also had a lot of people hit, uh, write write me uh about you um so that's why i want to go check you out the first time when you you were around before all of us i always say that you you're the big homie like because you you did this before all of us so i always pay my respects to you because if it wasn't for you and your tra trajectory as to where you were going as far as what you brought along you brought along different topics as far as reaction goes political so if it wasn't for you i wouldn't have probably headed as as hard or known of a direction to go to um, if it wasn't for you. But uh, what a lot of people don't understand is like, this is our livelihoods at the end of the day. And that's something that you were explaining. I think people have a hard time understanding what that even means. Like I had somebody tell me, yo, like, man, stop complaining, just get a job. I'm like, well, how would you feel if you had a job for a year and a half and that job you signed the contract with and that job you basically devoted your whole life to how would you feel if I told you, yo, stop crying about that, man. Go get another job. How would you feel? Like, how would you feel if all of a sudden you got fired and the only explanation was, well, there was no explanation, right? There was pretty much like, yo, we're, we're cutting ties with you today. Figure out. Figure out what you need to figure out, <laughs> right? And I'm not saying that you should put all your eggs in YouTube's basket. That's something you should never do. But- you also cannot blame people for taking a step back. Because if that's going to harm me in the sense of take away my pay, take away my whole YouTube channel, 
And I'm not even going to be able to reach out the same way. And if I keep doing it and other people keep doing it, then we're all not going to be able to reach you anymore. So for those who are complaining about you switching it up and, yo, like, I'm trying to learn from Lou. Like, I'm actually going to learn from this. And I will want you to learn from this. I want other people to learn from this. Like, yo, don't don't show certain things. You can talk about it. Try to try not to go too, too radical or try not to show too much. You can you have different platforms for that. But I think a lot of people don't understand, like, this is this is life changing, bro. We we making not only good money, we're reaching a lot of people. Here's the thing. Here's the thing that I don't like. All right. All right. So just so you fully understand why any of you that's watching this fully understand why I'm walking away from the politics on the channel is because here I am, a 45 year old grown ass man who has done something, who who has set up my life in a way that um, that I found peace. I found some peace. And I got to get on YouTube and speak like a damn kid walking on eggshells. I don't even do that in my own. I don't do that around nobody in real life. Yeah. I don't care who you are. I don't care what's in your pocket. I don't care what block we on. I don't walk on eggshells. Why should I have to come to work and walk on eggshells? And that's BS right there. I try to do. I try to be respectful. I try not to. I try to say sugar, honey, iced tea instead of the real word. I, I try to do all of those things. And I try not to cover Dan and other people that's been kicked off the platform. But I'm, but then I sit back and think, why? Why am I trying to forego these people on my channel? What's the point of that? I don't get it. And then when I figured out, I'm playing their game, bro. Um, yeah. Man, you need to tap into your gifts and talents. And you need to make it happen that way. Because with or without YouTube, you need to pay these bills. Yeah, Let me yeah, say this again. Sure. With or without Rumble... Or YouTube, you need to pay these bills. Bills, bills got to get paid, man. Bills, bills got to get paid. So what, what's, man. Your, what's your plan going forward? What, 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 how are you looking? My my plan going forward is to teach people what I'm good at. Um, I've been great as a as a husband, so I'm a I'm gonna talk to men and I'm gonna talk to the young men and tell them the importance of family. I'm gonna tell them what I've learned. I uh, was great. Um, I'm I'm pretty good at raising children. I'm not the one type, I'm not the type to brag, but I've done some amazing things in my life, but my most, my biggest brag is my kids. My kids are absolutely amazing. We are four for four, <laughs> four for four. And you know what? And what the reason why that means so much to me is because when I was 15, 16 years old, I never thought that I would have a family. I never thought that I would live past the age of 25. I, my wife can tell you that. All my friends will tell you that. When they was going to jail, because they got caught up. I was with my girlfriend, who's now my wife, not doing what they was doing. And they was in jail talking about me, the skinny n that they used to be with, who was the first one to pop off, no matter who it was or how many it was. That was me. I was just that type of guy. I wasn't no mean guy. Don't get it twisted. I wasn't. It's just that when I was in the element, I had way too much fun. I love the darkness. I love when there's a whole bunch of people and there's danger around us. I used to love that, man. So my wife saved me from all that. But when I my my pullout game failed right before we went to college, <laughs> I said, I said, yo, I'm going to take care of my kids. I'm going to go get a job. I'm dropping out of college, dropped out of college. I did some things that my wife did not agree with. I had some um, fake jobs where I was out there selling coupons, selling vacuum cleaners, selling long distance. I was doing whatever. I was selling Amway door to door. You ever heard of Amway? I was doing all of that. But here's the thing. The reason why I bring that up is this is what I'm doing now. I'm talking to people about God. I'm talking to people about family. I'm helping people find their voice. I'm letting people know that every single one of us, just like Lou just now was talking about, the reason why we pull people up on these panels is because we realize that everyone has a bit of greatness in them. Everybody has something to say and they should be heard. Everybody don't have the platform. So, yo, let me pull you up and let you talk. I'm going to sit back and let you cook, as uh, Lou say. I'm going to let you cook. And they shouldn't be, they shouldn't be um, um, penalized for that, for just speaking their truth. What's the point? of penalizing somebody for speaking facts. So what I'm doing right now, Lou, to answer your question, I'm coaching. 
I'm coaching and I'm consulting. I'm teaching people how to do YouTube. I'm teaching people how to dag or have some mental health, how to how to readjust their mindset. I was talking to this guy yesterday, right? Uh, not two days ago. And um, I ain't going to tell you who because he probably watched it. His family probably watched it. But I was talking to him. He was going through some rough things, man. And at the end of our conversation, I said, well, first of all, I don't give people money. I, I don't. But I want to know one thing. What are you good at? He told me some things he was good at, but he didn't have transportation to go out there and do it. I yeah. said, you can start doing that today by simply passing out flyers and just broker the deals between them, the customer, and other people who can actually do it and get your piece off top. He looked at me sideways like, is that illegal? I said, that's what people do all the time. Um, the government, the federal government sets apart $98 billion per year for minorities have to have federal contracts for general contracts. And most of these people with these contracts, they don't do the jobs themselves. They broker the deals between the federal government and actual companies that will physically come out there and do the work, and they are getting million-dollar contracts daily. I know people I went to school with that do this. When I talk to people that I went to school that do these type of things, they put the battery pack in my back and let me know that I can do business too. So what I'm doing separating myself from YouTube, separating myself from Instagram, Rumble, you name it, X. I'm not depending on these platforms. I'm depending on Van and the gifts and talents that I have as long as I have health in my body because I can get up and talk for hours and I'm going to start speaking at places. I'm going to start speaking at schools. I've already been invited at a couple of schools. That's out of state. Listen, that's I'm a, great, that's a you this, great, great, great plan. Listen, Lou, <laughs> listen, Lou. Only reason why I'm telling you this, bro, is because you're sharper than me. You're more handsome than me. You're taller than me. You, you're, you got more heart than me. You still got that fire in you. Yeah. You can, listen, you can, you can go back and forth with the best of them. So if I'm thinking about myself, I'm thinking about myself like a daggone unstoppable king right now, simply because I have finally realized my value and I want other people to realize their value too. So that's the, that's the mission I'm on right now. Anybody I talk to, what are you good at? What can you do? I mean, what can you do that your family know that you can do? You cook the best mac and cheese in the house, put that, ja put that bad boy on the plate and sell them jumps. You, I mean, seriously, that's where I am right now. I was just now complaining about 300 people leaving the channel, but Look at this right here. I wanted to check. I, I wanted to share this with y'all because I was going to share this with y'all anyway, right before Lou pulled up, and it was a blessing for him to pull up. But our last video that we posted in a day, 304 subscribers added, plus 304 subscribers. I think that's awesome. 304 subscribers in a day. That's phenomenal. I want to say thank you to everybody who believe in the channel. Thank you to everybody who believe in me. Thank you to everybody, man. I appreciate you. So what do you mean by you don't want to create content as an old man? What it means is I want to do other things. That's all, that's all I mean. I have ambitions to do other things. As I was showing y'all before, in a matter of 24 hours, this is what happened on the channel. We got 304 subscribers added to one video. Just one video. That's just one video. So I'm, I'm grateful about that. I'm, I'm thankful. I'm extremely thankful. And I'm appreciative, man. I'm not knocking anybody. Hopefully y'all understand that. I'm not knocking anybody. I want everybody to get their, get their information out there. I want everybody to add to this planet we're on and just use your gifts to provide something that's necessary, that's needed out there, all right? Because some of y'all are good at stuff. I mean, if you could tell me one thing you're good at in the chat right now, one thing, one talent, one gift that you had, 